Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you're watching Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. I want to talk to those of you who feel like a hypocrite, who feel fake, who feel like they have nothing to do with God and that God wants nothing to do with them. I want to talk to that believer who feels rejected, out of place, and wonders if God could possibly still love them. That's what I'm discussing here on this edition of Spirit Church. But first, Stephen Moctezuma is here with me. He's going to lead you in some anointed worship, and then we're going to get right into this message. It's going to bring healing to a lot of you. Here is Stephen Moctezuma. Can go back to the beginning. Can control what tomorrow will bring. But I know here in the middle Is a place where you promised you As I walk now through the valley, let your love shine above every fear, like the sun shaping the shadow in my weakness, your glory up. Unless you come, will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are, will you meet me here again? I'm not enough, unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, drive bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, dry bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here
Paul the Apostle said something very interesting in Romans chapter 7, verse number 17. He said, so I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. Now, this was very interesting to me when I read it because at first glance, it can appear as though Paul is trying to relieve himself of responsibility. But let me make this clear. We are responsible for our own decisions and actions, and we must own up to those things before God when we're confronted by the Holy Spirit. But what Paul the Apostle is saying here is not that he was not the one who exercised his free will to disobey. What he's saying is that he doesn't identify with that part of himself that chooses to do those things that are contrary to the will of God. Now, again, I'm talking to you if you feel like you're a hypocrite if you feel like you're a fake. I'm talking to you if you've ever sat in church and you've looked around and you said, I don't belong here. I'm talking to the ministers who look at what God has blessed them with in their ministry and their platform and their expression and have said to themselves, I don't think I deserve what I have. If people only knew what I thought, if people only knew what I had done, if people only knew my past or the things that go on inside of me, they would reject me outright. I wanna talk to you because we are to take these difficult things these very real, these very raw, these very deep aspects of our human nature, we are to take them to God. And God is big enough to handle the weakness of men. So this verse interested me because, again, it appeared to me like he was at first saying, I'm not the one doing it at all. But what he is actually saying is I'm not identifying with that. So here's my point on that. When you sin... You are absolutely a fake, but you're a fake sinner. I've often said that you are not a wolf in sheep's clothing. As a believer, you're a sheep in wolf's clothing. You're putting on a nature that is not yours. You're putting on something that is not actually a part of you. It's not really who you are. That's why we can say that we are without sin, that we are dead to sin, that it no longer has any reign in our lives, yet we can face the everyday reality of the struggle to do what is right. It's because that battle is ongoing, but it's not a battle within you. It's not a battle between your new nature and your old nature. It's a battle between you and that thing we call sin. It's not you. It's not your identity. It's not who you are. Now, this is the work of the Holy Spirit. And of all the things, out of all the things that he does, and I can list many things, you know I can. Out of all the things that the Holy Spirit does, this is perhaps the greatest work of the Holy Spirit. Or one of, at least. That he convinces you of your new identity. What do you do when... You have been forgiven, but you feel like you're stained. What do you do when a renewed mind begins to think old thoughts? What do you do when you feel like you don't belong, but the scripture says you have a place at the table? Well, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, I'm going to read a few verses. Let's begin at verse 9. But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit if you have the Spirit of God living in you. And remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. And Christ lives within you. So even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. Now, the Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living within you. Now, a lot of people think that this verse is talking about resurrection. It's not. Your mortal body is your physical body. Your glorified body is what you get when you go to be with the Lord. I did a whole series on the end times and the afterlife. The glorified body is something completely different. So what does it mean when it says that the spirit will give life? He'll be, give breath. He'll give, he'll give newness to what? Your mortal body. What it's saying is that he will put his essence in your physical body. He will make you new even as you are right now. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same spirit living within you. Therefore, so here's the conclusion now. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, 
You have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba Father. For his spirit joins. Oh, this is beautiful. His spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. Think about that. But if we are to share in his glory, we also must share his suffering. What the scripture is saying here is that the Holy Spirit uses all of his convicting power, all of his persuasive power, all of his magnetism, all of his pull. He uses every bit of his ability just to convince you that you are a child of God. Now, I know that's difficult to believe sometimes. I know that battle is hard to fight. That's why the Holy Spirit has to fight it for you. You're the one who doubts. You're the one who struggles to believe in who God has made you. You're the one who struggles to embrace this new identity in the face of all of the temptation that comes against you but not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows who you are. And the Holy Spirit loves who you are. And the Holy Spirit is trying to convince you of your new life. Is trying to convince you that you are a child of God. He joins with your spirit to convince you of this truth. Think about it. He gives life to your mortal body. In other words, he comes in and he fights the power of sin for you if you'll just surrender. And he also tells you again and again and again, you belong to me. You belong to your Father. You are one with Christ. You are one with the body of Christ within the earth. He persuades you. He is powerfully persuasive. His truth combats the deception. Now, the enemy will use your mistakes. He will use your flaws. He will use your tendencies to endorse his lies. But the Holy Spirit combats that. Because even though there is this struggle around you, deep within your heart, deep within your being, you know that you know that you know that you belong to him. And this is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. This is what he does best. He helps us to think according to the new reality instead of the old one. He's the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And Jesus said he'll never leave you. He's with you. He's patient. He's kind. He's loving. He's gentle. And he works with you. And he helps you up when you fall. And he puts you back in place when you leave the place where you belong. And he tells you the truth when you lie to yourself. And he tells you the truth when the enemy comes against you. And he reminds you of what Christ did on the cross when the enemy tries to remind you of your past. You've heard it said, when the enemy reminds you of your past, remind him of his future. I say to you, when the enemy reminds you of your past, look far back enough to see the cross. And when you see the cross you'll know that you're a new creation. When you see the cross, you'll see your sins forgiven. It is the Holy Spirit that causes us to cry, Abba, Father. You don't have to live in rejection. You don't have to live in fear, wondering if God has you, because I trust not in my ability to hold His hand. I trust in His ability to hold mine. And it is that faith in a good God. It is that faith in the power of the Spirit. It is that faith in what the Holy Spirit says about me that keeps me standing firm in my identity. It is the Holy Spirit who causes me to cry, Abba, Father. Well, that's it for the lesson. I want to pray with you now. I want to pray that God would heal your heart. 
from rejection, that God would heal your heart from hypocrisy, that God would cause you to see yourself the way He sees you, that you no longer be defined by your past. As a believer, you don't have a past. That you no longer worry about the future that's in God's hands, but that you learn to live in the truth of your identity in the present. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I lift that one to you now who feels like you've rejected them, who feels like they don't belong, who feels like at any day they're going to give in because what's the point? Touch that one, Lord. Put your Holy Spirit's power in them in a fresh way. Holy Spirit, rescue us. Rescue us from the way we think. We surrender all to you. We depend on you. Help us to cry, Abba, Father. In the name of Jesus. I want you to say it because you believe it. Say, Amen. Well, that is it for the lesson. I want to welcome now the new members of Spirit Church. There you are up on the screen. We love you. We're praying for you. I always say that because I always mean it. If you'd like information on how you can join the Spirit family, now over 6,000 members strong, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch. When you sign up, you're going to get a free teaching from me every single week, a free worship video from Stephen Moctezuma, and you'll be able to reply to that email for prayer support from our ministry staff. So join the Spirit family today and become a member of Spirit Church. I'm going to get now to your comments. Now, these comments are from my video, How to Receive the Holy Spirit, which... You've often heard it said that you should receive the Holy Spirit, but how do you receive Him? I'm going to tell you how. Make sure to go watch that teaching. Also, since you're at it, make sure to also subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you share with your friends and family. A lot of resources on here. It's all free. We never charge for the content. It's 100% free. And by the way, When you sign up to Encounter TV, you're going to have a whole bunch of playlists. There's worship, there's teachings, there's clips of miracles and the power of God. There are interviews, there are live broadcasts, so much more. Make sure also to click that notification bell. If you don't click that notification bell, you're not really going to get notified when we release new content. But that notification bell is also important because when we release a video, usually for the first hour or so, I'm looking at the comments that come into the video. So if you'd like me to see your comment or you would like to increase the likelihood of me personally seeing your comment, then make sure you make your comment within the first hour that a video is released. And in order to know when a video is coming out, you have to make sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell on. I want to read these comments now from How to Receive the Holy Spirit. Tara Oma writes, Hello, I'm 16, and I've watched Encounter TV for over a year. Thank you, David, Stephen, Tim, and everyone at Spirit Church for doing things with excellence. I can't put a number on the amount of times you've inspired me spiritually. Also, the quality of everything you produce is now inspiring me as well. I love you all dearly. Well, we certainly do love you as well. Christian Living for Jesus Christ writes, I didn't want that song to end in the beginning. The way you sang it, Stephen, with your smooth voice was so comforting. What a way to praise the Lord. Thanks. For those of you who don't know, Stephen Moctezuma is my absolute favorite worship leader, and he has a worship playlist here on the Encounter TV network, so be sure to check it out. The next commenter writes, Pastor David, you always manage to make the teachings so simple, yet they are powerful. You know, that's what I think a good teacher does. They take complicated truths and present them in a simple way. And really, it's the Holy Spirit who helps me do it. This is his channel. And I love the topics that I teach. The Holy Spirit, prayer, spiritual warfare, miracles, faith, evangelism. You you know, those are my type of topics. So it's very easy to do with the help of the Holy Spirit, especially when you love what you're doing. And the final comment comes from Molly Catherine, who writes, I am so thankful I have found this YouTube channel. These messages have taught me to have faith that miracles are still happening and that I have the power within me to move mountains. I have never been told to have faith in the Holy Spirit so deeply before. Thank you. I am now a member of Spirit Church. As I said, this is the Holy Spirit's channel. You know what I love about this channel? is It really is for believers. Now, you know, our events, we evangelize the lost. But on our media, we disciple the believer. Why? Because that has a multiplication effect. 
When you can invest in believers on a mass scale, you're actually reaching more than you could on your own because each one of those individuals becomes discipled in a way where they can go out themselves and win souls. Help us keep all this content free. I don't want to charge for events. I don't want to charge for the content. Freely you have received, freely give. That's what we're doing. But Paul the Apostle took up offerings, and so do I. So here's what I'm saying to you. I need your help. Steve needs your help. This ministry needs your help. Help us continue to spread the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit through events and media. Do that today by giving a one-time gift or by signing up to our automatic monthly giving plan. We would call you then our World Changer Partner. When you sign up to become my partner, you're going to get an email from me every single month, and it's just for our partners. This email that I send out on a monthly basis is just for those who are partners and donors of our ministry. There's stuff you're not going to see in here anywhere else on our content, and so I want you to be a part of that. Be an insider. Be a supporter. Be my partner. Help us take the gospel all around the world. I think the gospel is worthy, and the gospel is needed now more than ever before. So become a partner or give a one-time gift. If, however... You sign up to become a partner for $30 or more a month on the automatic giving plan. I will send you either Carriers of the Glory, 25 Truths About Demons and Spiritual Warfare, or Encountering the Holy Spirit in every book of the Bible. That will be my initiation gift to you. I'll sign it and give it to you just to say thank you. So go and do that today. One-time gift or monthly. Do it today. Don't wait on this. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. And that is it for this edition of Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.